In this video, we will learn about temporary local table in SQL and uh, how we can implement non-clustered index. So there are three advantages of uh, temporary tables. Temporary tables behave just like uh, normal ones and uh, you can sort, filter and join them as if they were permanent tables. Because SQL Server has less logging and locking overheads for the temporary tables, after all, you are the only person who can see or use the temporary table you have created. They execute more quickly than the permanent tables. And you can create a temporary table and insert, delete, and update its records without worrying about whether you have the sufficient rights to change the data in the permanent tables or whether you might be accidentally doing so. So before going to the implementation of these temporary local tables, so let me introduce you one function that is um, object underscore ID, this one. So this function will give you the ID of an object. For example, if I write here, select and uh, object ID, I need to pass one parameter as a table. For example, if I write here, a uh, human resource dot employ and let me execute. So here you can see, I am getting the ID of uh, this table. So it means this table is available in the database. So let's see how we can create local temporary tables. So we need to write if object underscore ID and uh, then we need to write here tempdb and remember one thing whenever we will create a local temporary table it will be stored under tempdb and temporary table. So right now there is no table available. So the name of the db is tempdb. Uh, temp db dot dot and uh, the name of the table that we want to create is like a raw underscore employee amp this is the name of the temporary table so we need to check if this table raw data is not null then begin i mean if there is there is some data in the raw temp then we need to begin and drop table hash raw underscore m and end this one. So before moving, before executing this statement, let me show you one thing. If I copy and uh, select this statement. So if I execute only this statement, so here you can see I'm getting null because this table does not exist. So let's understand uh, temp db dot dot, what is the meaning of uh, these double dots? So this is the schema name. For example, if I write here select the name of the database is Adventure Works 2019. And what is the schema? Schema is the human resource dot. So these two dots, the first dot is in the beginning and the second dot is at the end. And then we are writing the name of the table employee, right? And if I write here, select um, tempdb dot dbo this is the schema name and then another dot and then we need to write the name of the table that is raw underscore m that's why we are using here double dots so i hope you understood the point and uh, now we need to create 
create table raw underscore amp and uh, in the employee table we need for example the business entity id we will call it we can write any name here business id and what is the uh, data type is int and is a not null so int and not null this is the first first column and after this we need for example job so the data type for the job is n virtual 50 and not, not null so you can write here for example watcher 50 and uh, the third one is for example marital status this is uh, n char 1 and this is also not null so you need to follow the same data type and uh, the the length so we just need to close it and uh, if you execute now so now we have a table the the name of the temp table is is raw amp so now if i execute control c and uh, select this one so we should get some id so here you can see we are getting this id and uh, in the same way if you go here and uh, refresh so here you can see raw underscore m and uh, this is the identifier so now we have created the raw underscore amp table and now we need to create the non-cluster index so just create non-clustered index and what is the name of it? so hash ix underscore amp you can write any name here with the hash then on hash raw underscore amp the name of the table and uh, which column do we need we need for example job this one so if i execute it is working perfectly fine and now we need to add some data so insert the name of the table is hash raw amp and now we need to write query to fill raw underscore amp table select asterisk from human resource dot employ this one and uh, we need the first column we need business entity id so you need to follow the same hierarchical structure first the business id comes and then job job title because this was the actual name job title and uh, then the third one is the marital status this one so column so that's it so we need to execute and uh, now if i try to select select steric from hash ram execute and here you can see i'm getting business id job and marital status let me introduce you one more function for example if i write here sp underscore help index and then i need i need to know that uh, the available indexes on this table so single quotation paste 
and now if I execute, as you can see, these are the here you can see these are the available indexes, and uh, you can also see indexes here as well. It's a employee login ID, employee national number, uh, row GUI ID, organization level, but uh, there is no index available on job. And uh, with the help of a local temporary table, we have created one non cluster index on job. And whenever you will use job in your where clause, your query will run very fast. And the another important thing is you can only access raw underscore amp within the current session. If I open another session and uh, raw underscore temp, control C, and if I try to execute this query here, see, we are not able to access the raw underscore amp temporary table from another session. So one more in interesting thing is, so if I copy the complete query and uh, if I paste it here and try to execute, so here you can see it is working fine. And uh, we have created two times raw underscore temp table here and here. So if you go to the temporary table and refresh, see you are able to see two raw underscore amp tables. The names are same, but they have different identifiers one with the ending with the D and the other is E0. So the last thing is how we can drop these tables. So it is a good practice to drop the tables once you are done. For example, if you are getting the thousands of rows and uh, then the size of uh, TempDB will increase. So how we can drop it, drop table, the name is hash raw temp, right? So if I execute here, it is working fine. So here you can see we are getting two temporary tables. One is in the second session and the other one is in the first session. So if I drop table raw underscore amp in the, in the first session and execute, see, I got my result, all the required result I'm getting here. And uh, with the help of uh, this uh, drop table, now if I refresh, see, we are only getting the one uh, temp table that is in the, that, that is due to the second or underscore temp. So if I drop table hash or underscore amp and execute, and now if I refresh, so here you can see, I'm getting no temporary table. And the the storage of uh, tempdb as it is. So that's all about uh, temporary local table and how we can create non-clustered index, how to check clustered index and non-clustered index, and how we can drop the local temporary table. So, if you like this video, please subscribe our channel and uh, if you have any question, please write in the comment section. Thank you.